When we think of wrestling, we think of freestyle wrestling, where athletes can grapple any part of the body. In the success of young wrestlers in this state, at the University of Minnesota, winning Olympic gold, the Greco-Roman style, which only permits holds above the waist, has fallen out of popularity. The U.S. isn't dominating, and that's brought Olympic gold medalist Rulon Gardner out of retirement and to Minnesota for some training. I've been watching Greco-Roman, and after I retired in 2004, we won one medal since the last Olympics in you know, 2004. Rulon Gardner won the United States' last Greco-Roman wrestling Olympic gold in 2000. He's a 2010 inductee of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame, and he's noticed a problem. We've just been kind of slowly sliding, and it's like, man, we got to do something to get people to, you know, remember Greco-Roman, such a great sport, but we're such an older generation that the younger guys aren't seeing that example. Brandon Paulson, you know, Olympic silver medalist, and, you know, he's here locally, but not a lot of people are being exposed to this, and so for me, it's like, you know what, I still have the physical tools. Yeah, it's comeback season. At Wrestle Jitsu in Wake Park, we have some guys that wrestled Greco, some guys are on the national team, some guys have no experience, but we got some big bodies, and you know, they said 7,000 pounds that's here today to work with. You know, whenever I need advice, I go to Rulon. This is the least I could do is to, to step up and help him out and help him on this journey. And it's a series of wrestling clinics to help him train for the Olympic trials. Nobody ever in their 50s have ever tried to make the Olympic team. You know, why not go out there? If it, if it may going to do it, might as well be me. To catch up with old friends and rivals like Minnesota's own Jason Close. A lot of people are thinking 50 year old, come on. Himself a former world class wrestler. If he'll make the team, who knows? He'll die trying. You know, he'll work at it with all of his might. And I think that's great to see. You know, life is tough, right? I think no matter what you're doing, where, what stage of life you're in, you need to see people who are testing themselves to the limit. And to help develop the next generation of Greco-Roman wrestlers. Uh, it's pretty cool having an Olympic gold champion in my gym. It's like a one in a lifetime opportunity. What I want to show in wrestling is that girls can wrestle and that we are more than just people see as some girls that can't do things that uh, other men can. And I think that girls can do anything just as much as men can. So I'm trying to express myself and say that I can do as much as you can. If we can kind of give that knowledge and then these local coaches go back to their high schools, give that knowledge to their kids, there may be a kid that I don't even ever meet, but I'm able to influence because one of the coaches learned something from me. The guiding principle here is simple. The more people you bring together in the same mindset, the same goal, the better it's going to be. So we've got a, a brotherhood of wrestlers from over the past 20, 30 years that uh, we all came together to help Rulon out. If you don't give back in wrestling, wrestling doesn't grow. If you had told me at five years old I'd be an Olympic gold medalist, I would have said, you're crazy, but you know, life gives you an opportunity. I think that's what, you know, living in America, you know, there's no person out there that says I can't go out and make the Olympic team at 51 years old. You know, everybody's like, you're crazy, you can't do it at 51. I'm like, the guys here today are like, dude, you're, it's, it's, it's scary. Sometimes force of will is all you need. There's another March clinic in the books, and Gardner is for real with his comeback attempt. Now, last night we were trying to.